Hey the guys welcome back to my channel in this video we will see how to make an car parking detection plus counter in this video i will go step by step everything you will learn and we will use basic image operations hey the guys welcome back to my channel in this video we will make an car parking space counter plus detection so let's start so right over here I have here two files called main.py and car space picker. So from this I will process this image and find and position and I will store it in a pickle file like this. I will just delete it and have an mp4 file. Okay. So right over here for the main part of the pickle thing of the creating the pickle file. We need CV2 and we need a pickle. Right, we need a pickle module. And right over here, what I am going to do is run here and try. Try and I will see if there is a file or not. If there is a file, then the try will get no error. If there is no file, then the try will get an error and if there is an error then you can do something else means we are just uh, asking it if the file is there or not with means this is an, just an lazy way you can use it OS or SYS module to do that but I am using try and ex except for increasing the performance in the try I will use with open in that I need the file name it's car park position and then the mode will be read binary and as uh, okay right over here I'll say pickle dot load and in here I'll just need a then simple as that if there is no file then what you can just do is create one file called position boost as blank and i will also store this in the same list position list as blank okay there we go so next thing is to add up here and while loop while true here we will do all the processing right in here we'll say image equals to i am read Okay, image equals to cv2 dot im read, read yeah. I am read method and then the file name will be image dot png this image so the main thing right over here if we use it with that for loop it will work for the bird eye view like this means the top view will work for the dark view but if you are using a side view or something else or tilted then it will make a problem so to so we will not use the for loop and we will ask the user to choose it okay and right over here one more thing if you have something like the not the straight line if you have the tilted lines till this then also this method will work that i am showing you right now okay and here image equals to I read I will say here I am show image and image and then I will add weight key as one and I will also say cv2 and what I want to do is okay what I would like to do is add up these rectangles on it. Okay. Means I will ask the user to choose and also I will make an option to remove in case we add one rectangle by mistakely. So what you can just do is you can find a perfect width and height afterwards but right now I have find it the width and height before only so i'm just showing you the width and height which i found out before 
and right over here if i go here i will define a function called mouse click and here will be an event for the clicks i will see here events x y blacks and then parameters okay so i will just call this function right over here cb2 dot set mouse callback window name is image and on mouse mouse click so now we are using the function over there and that will give us events xy means the position where we have clicked and flags and the parameters that so those are the things which this function will give us from the cv2 into this function so in this function what i am just going to do is check if the event is equals to cv2 dot event underscore l button down means we have clicked means we have clicked with the left button means we have clicked the if we do a left click and for the right click also we will use it for removing if we have clicked then go to the pose list and append those values of the x and y when we have clicked and then the next thing is for the right click so if we have right clicked then what you can just do for right clicking you can just change the l to r okay if we have right click then what you can just do is run and follow and position and i will just enumerate it so what enumerate does it will give the indexes of the position and also give the element also okay it gives us two things position list okay and why i need this index that's why i have colon it because it will be used for removing guys but before that i will also need to check that it is valid or not if the user clicks somewhere else not inside of the rectangle then it will also happen that we will remove and wrong element right i'll just define x1 and y1 as position right over here and right over here what i am just going to do is check that it's valid or not if x1 is less than or greater than sign x less than or greater than sign x1 plus correct width and so we have checking for the x so let's also check for the y also so here will be y1 is y and he will come y one plus rect height okay so what you can just do after checking then means we have clicked correctly on the rectangle we have verified it then you can just pop that element means we can remove the element with the pop function and at last we will save those changes in our pickle file So for saving, we will use the with open thing, and right over here, either than R B, I will use W B, and here, either I'm saying here post this. What I'm just going to do is see here pickle dot dump 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 stands for writing uh, the post list, and then the F. this will save those changes as we click next thing is to get an preview so we will know that it's correct or not i'll get a preview right over here so i will just use the for loop and i will draw a rectangle right right So let's make it in one line. 
because the code is just of one line only image and then the part one will be the position and then the part two will be the y plus the rect width and then the x sorry the x plus width and y plus uh, and the y plus the height right and next thing is to also get the color that will be red and then the thickness that will be 2 and nothing else so let's check it out if I left click it adds a rectangle and if I right click it removes the rectangles if I just exit it and again open it it saves ok so right now what I will just do is uh, add all the rectangles right over here I will just skip the part ok so here I have drawn all the rectangles guys I know it's not that proper but I've tried my best so now you can see we have all the rectangles now there is no need of this file so I will close it but still we can copy some code so we need the code till here and I will just remove this try and accept statement because we don't need it because the file will always exist and next thing will be our uh, also import the numpy module so there we go we are also importing the numpy module and right over here i will also copy the while loop code ok so right over here what we are just doing is copy paste we will just remove that ok so what i will just do right over here is wait not this yeah so what i'm just going to do right over here is i will also remove this statement and i will also remove this statement and i will create here video capture not for the webcam guys i'm using if you want to use it for the webcam or um, cctv then also you can use but i have here mp4 file if you want to use it for cctv or webcam then you can just specify the number for the cctv or webcam index and if you are using mp4 file just specify the file name of it and now i can read it yeah. so now we can see the video let's so the video is a bit fast forward so that's why i'm adding a bit more delay of many seconds so now you can see the video next thing is to go to the main processing part by creating a function okay so right over here for an function the function name will be uh, let's call it check and the arguments will be the processed image image process so for now I will pass it and I will just do my image processing first yeah then the next thing is I also need to apply some Gaussian blur gray the corner size will be 3 by 3 and the sigma x will be 1 and we will also add some 
threshold so right now i think so that adaptive threshold will be perfect for this project and the adaptive threshold for it i will use blow and max value will be 255 and the adaptive method will be cv2 dot uh what was it? so the code will be something like adaptive thresh gas gaussian c and right over here cv2 dot uh thresh binary invert yeah and next thing after adding the thresh binary invert block size that will be let's keep it 25 and 16 as the same okay so we are also getting our threshold next thing is to add median blur let's call it blur also let's overwrite the blur cv2 dot median blur here i need the source threshold kernel size oh let's keep it inside. yeah then the then we need nothing so adding the median blur is too too simple then what i need to is to add some dilation and of course for that i will need a kernel that's why i imported numpy and in the ones it will be three by three because i specified the kernel size at three by three i will add some dilations that's why i'm doing it right and then let's apply some dilation really. so if this cv2 dot dilate yeah cv2 dot dilate in the function i need and source which will be blur of course and then i need the kernel kernel and then I will set the iterations as one. Mostly we use one, but sometimes it could be different also. And right over here, we'll call the function. I, so I will give the processed image, means the dilated image. And in this function, for the counter, I will create a space count variable that will help us to get the count for position and position list and right over here i will add a color and next thing is i will add an x y as position so if you ask from where we are getting position list from here so i will be using some lazy techniques right over here i will crop the image and for cropping the image process so what i mean by cropping the image i will crop every every rectangle chosen means for this car for this car everything that i will check okay and in the image process i will see here y colon y and here we need the rectangle size means the cropping position or uh, let's uh that was a rect right yeah actually here should be rect height now it's correct and similarly i will say here x colon x plus rect width yeah so now we have cropped the image to their specific cells so now i need to also get a count count is a specific number means it will count how much pixel how much better it is and i think so it will count will be greater than 900 if it's uh if there is no vehicle it will be less than 900 if there is a vehicle because uh, the vehicle is huge that's why it will be less than 900 the the vehicle is not that small that's why. i will say here cv2 dot count non zero yeah cv2 dot count non zero is specify the cropped image 
from it will count and here I will learn an, run an if loop if crop is less than greater than 900 then add one count and I will also change the color to green and we will also have to change the thickness because we are overlaying it so the user must realize that's why and I think pi should be enough actually it will be more than enough actually else copy it east and it should be red right and here I will draw the rectangle simple as that dot rectangle rectangle means I will draw a rectangle for all the specific cells so one more problem is there if I try to put the count over here means right over here right over here if I put it there could be something white so the text color depends on the image so what I will just do is draw the text on a rectangle so it will be depend not depend on the image it will be a constant it will be constant okay? I will say image draw an image from where we get image from here we are calling it right over here that's why it will not give us any error so it's again a shortcut method here the part 2 will be position oh sorry, x plus rect width and part plus rect right so as per the rule of cv2 we need to also add x and y with the width and height next thing is color as color the variable that we have created and thickness as thick thickness there we go and next thing is add up the text so as I tell we will add the text on a rectangle so let's create the rectangle first and so arguments of the let's give it a 45 by 30 and let's go over here and then that should be 250 and oh uh, 75 and then the color let's keep it at purple on purple the white will look a bit better and if you ask why I'm not using else uh, like green and red because the color is used a lot that's why it will look too bad thickness as minus one minus one stands for filled usually what you used to do is write cv2 dot filled but now I knew we can also use the minus one so now I use minus one put text so in the put text I will write image then the text will be an f string three four and here will be the space count slash and i will use the length of the position list to get all the cars and next thing is to get the position let's try 50 by 60 font face at cv2 dot font font so oh, she's simplex let's try it 0.9 color as white white color code is 255 255 255 and that's the white color code and thickness as 2 right let's try that out okay it gives an error yeah i specified here crop instead of it should be count yeah now you can see the vehicles count yes you can see 12 13 one car has gone should be 14 this car has gone okay so it did it properly guys so it works fine so there this car also gone so now it's 15 okay so one more thing if you also want to add for this cart 
you what you can just do is add one more rect width and height then you can work for the card also and one more thing don't forget if you are using a side view or something else still it will work fine if you have something like tilted lines means like a uh, diagonal lines still you can use that rectangle in the diagonal line you can use a perfect size for it then it will it will work still fine it will work in any case it works fine guys so thanks for watching